How is heart failure diagnosed? A diagnosis of heart failure can often be made based on the characteristic symptoms of shortness of breath on exertion or at rest, breathlessness or coughing when laid flat, known as orthopnea, waking up breathless at night, tiredness and fatigue, swelling of the ankles and feet, loss of appetite, the stomach feeling swollen or bloated, sputum production, which may be blood-stained. Examination by a doctor may detect an irregular heartbeat, abnormal blood pressure, an enlarged heart, or abnormal heart sounds when listening with a stethoscope. There may be signs of congestion in the lungs, the neck veins and the liver, or swelling in the legs. It is usually difficult to make a definite diagnosis of heart failure without further tests. These may include blood tests to look for anemia, thyroid disease or evidence of kidney damage, a chest x-ray to see if the heart is enlarged or if there's congestion in the lungs. The x-ray may show a different problem in the lungs that could be causing breathlessness other than that due to heart failure. A heart tracing called an electrocardiogram, or ECG, to look for any evidence of previous damage to the heart muscle, such as that caused by heart attacks. An ultrasound scan of the heart called an echocardiogram. This is a painless test that provides important information about the way the heart is working. It provides pictures of the heart in motion, and allows the doctor to assess the pumping action of the heart and how the heart valves are working.